is up YouTube, Ruben here and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox. For this one you're going to have to install MS-DOS 6.22 for this because you will need it in order to install it. And for those who are looking for the uh, ISO file, which I may have to go ahead and switch my flash drive, but let me do that right now. So, for this tutorial, you're going to need MS-DOS 6.22, you going to set the link to the Everything EPAN tutorial, and WinRAR, for those who know. Let me look for my flash drive, but, here you go, okay, let me plug it in real quick. It should say Windows 95B. So, I'm going to, again, I'm going to get links for VirtualBox, uh, the Everything EPAN tutorial, and you're also going to need WinRAR in order to download, or, or or in this case, extract the file. So let's get started. So we're gonna hit new, and I'm gonna type in Windows 95. Oops. Hit next. And I'm gonna type in, we'll leave it at 64 megabytes. I hit create, next, next. And I'm going to save it to a different location. So I don't take up space on the main hard drive on my Dell, the Dell Precision T5500 I'm using. And I'm going to hit create. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on settings, system, acceleration, and you need to turn off enable VTX slash AMD V. If you leave it on while installing, it's going to give you a Windows protection error, so make sure you turn that off. Then click on storage, and you're going to have to install MS-DOS 6.22. So let me go ahead and find the image files I have, set it right here. So. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install MS-DOS 6.22. I will put the link to the video tutorial on how to do that. So I'll be back. So now that I'm finished installing MS-DOS along with the CD-ROM driver, go ahead and install Windows 95 by right clicking here and then hit choose disk image. And mine is located right in here. Then you're going to type in D colon, then type in dir, and you should see setup.exe, and type in setup. And hit enter. And hit continue. And hit yes. Hit next, 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 and now you're going to type in the product key. So I'm gonna, I'm going to go ahead and type that in real quick. So I'll be back. Once you typed in the product key, just type in your name and hit next. Select both of these and hit next. going to analyze your virtual machine. It's going to take uh, some time because we have turned off acceleration. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pause it, so I'll be back. Once it's finished, just click on next. Then click on no. If you do not want to start up disk, then hit next, next, 
and it's going to copy files. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And as you can see, it's now copying files, so I'm going to pause the video, so I'll be back. Alright, we're now ready to restart the computer, so hit finish. There is no disk in the floppy drive, so hit OK. You probably have to take out the disk for now. I'll tell you when to put it back in. In this particular area, this is where you get the protection error, and we don't even have it because I turned off acceleration. And now it's going to set up the plug and play devices that you may have on your computer or a virtual machine. Then click OK. I'm going to type in my computer name. Computer name I'll type in Windows 95. And we want to make sure that we set work group in all caps. Then click on close. And now it's going to ask you to insert your Windows 95 CD-ROM, so do that. And hit OK. It's going to scan the CD-ROM drive. And then it's going to copy files. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the video, so I'll be back. If you see this window, just click on close. This is for your date and time. It's going to finish the setup. And hit cancel if you don't want to add a printer. And now hit OK. But before you do that, you need to take out your CD or your ISO file and then hit OK. And it's now starting up Windows 95. Type in my name, then hit OK, and then hit OK, and leave it blank. Might take a while. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Since it's now finalizing settings, I'm going to pause the video right now. Oh, never mind then. So there you go, people. That's how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox. If you right-click my computer and hit Properties, it's going to say Windows 95 version 4.0.950B. So that's it. That's how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon when I upload new videos. Or make a live stream, of course. And also follow me on Twitter at RubenOfFedicio17 or Instagram at RubenTheTransitFan. And as you can see, there's our product key that we just entered in. So yeah, there we go. That's how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox. So, I'll see you next time.